Hey y'all, how you doing? My name is Dylan Baker and I'm here to talk to you about my 10 day capstone project that I did with Dev's Code Camp called the Cocktail Lounge. Technologies I used for this program on the front end I used React, HTML, and for the styling I used CSS and Bootstrap. And then on the back end I used Django, MySQL, and then this is actually the first time I've actually incorporated a an API into a project of my own. Uh, I've done projects with groups that we use APIs, but this will actually be the first solo project that I use an API. The API I used for this program was called the uh, Cocktail Database API. So when I had make, made this project, I was kind of trying to think of something that would help patrons or customers with assisting um, in choosing a cocktail and knowing what was in the, uh, in the actual cocktail. Um, that may not be on a menu when you go to a bar or a restaurant. When you go, typically they'll have like featured drinks, but sometimes maybe you want something that's not on the menu. So this app is actually kind of incorporated to help you find something that maybe not be on a menu that is similar to what you like, but not exactly on the menu or something that maybe you don't know or do know and you just want to kind of stray away from the regular. Um, it's also going to give the ability for you to create your own type of like personal list. So if you like a cocktail, you can add it to a cocktail collection. Um, or if you make one as a bartender and you really like it and you want to try to remember it, it's actually going to give you the ability to add it, um, a cocktail that you made yourself that you really like. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get started to my project. So this is the cocktail lounge. You got the registration and a login page right here. So registration will be a full name, username, and then password, email, phone number. And then on the bottom here, you'll have the ability to log in. So if I were to create somebody here, I can go, there's John Smith Jr. Create a username, J Smith. quick phone number so when I hit submit here you will actually see that it doesn't render anything currently but we can go ahead and I can show you that over in my database here if I go ahead and go to the users it does show that John Smith jr. here at the bottom was actually added to my database so it shows the registration does properly work so back over here, so now if I go to login, if I try and log in with any, nothing in there, I get a little prompt at the top, says login failed, check username, password. And then I can go ahead and I can add J Smith Jr. with that password. And it will say logged in. As long as everything in here is correct and everything is filled in and it, it'll uh, go through ver verification, show logged in. Currently, right now, it doesn't actually render to a different page. Um, but once you are properly logged in, you will see down here the My Collections, uh, add a favorite collection, add a favorite cocktail. As I stated before, this will be the ability for you to add a drink that you make as a bartender that you really like, or if there's a drink you've tried at a bar as a customer, you'll be able to add that as well. And then if you want to create a new collection, such as vodka, rum, whiskey, tequila, if you want to create one uh, for shots, to store all your shots in, you'll be able to do that here as well. Um, unregistered users will actually also be able to have the ability to search for cocktails by ingredient and random cocktail. That will be open for anybody that visits my app. Due to the fact that I do want somebody who maybe doesn't want the ability to register or uh, keep collection collections of cocktails or um, add cocktails to a collection, if they don't need the ability to do that, they just want to go and quickly find a cocktail of their choice, something new for them to do, um, they will still be have that ability too. So I do have the two options here. So currently right now, if you're somebody who just doesn't really have anything come to mind when they want to try something new, this will just give you a random drink um, with the ing um, ingredients and everything like that. So you can keep clicking it until you find something you like. So if, you, if you're the type who goes to the bar and you just tell the bartender to make you something good, um, you can do this and that way you can just tell them beforehand. So you can click where I'm a random cocktail, you get right here, random drink, kamikaze. That shows you what kind of drink it is the preparation and then actually it gives you the uh, measurements as well. Maybe that's not your forte. You think the drink looks too too uh, 
high end and fancy for you. You can keep clicking until you find something else. Here's a bourbon sour, a jam donut shot. Um, so say that's what you want, you can go ahead and show the bartender that and they should be able to make it for you. If not, you can show them a picture, show them what it looks like. But maybe this isn't something that you're into. Maybe you, you don't enjoy the random drinking. You kind of, you, if you're a person who knows what they like and you're somebody who likes vodka, but you just want to know all the drinks that have vodka in them, something you can pick from, get a list. You can go to the search bar, go ahead and search vodka, press search here, and it'll return all the uh, drinks that have vodka in them. Maybe you see something you like, you see a picture of something you like, and you're like, yep, that's what I want. You can go ahead and see that. Tell the bartender. So that is uh, my project for right now. Um, in future iterations uh, of this project, as I continue to work on it and to improve it, I am going to try and add a table instead of this long list. I would like it to be a smaller table, um, and then I'll also be able to incorporate um, a clicking function, so when you unclick it, it will give you the preparation and ingredients as well. Um, I'll have to do some research into a different API. The current API doesn't actually allow you to do that with this API call it used, so I will find a way to go around doing that. Um, I would also like to actually have a proper uh, redirect and render, so a registration page, and after you register, it'll send you the login. Once you log in, it'll give you the page with the My Collections. Instead of having everything on one page for right now, um, I do want to get a nav bar um, with the ability to click on the different pages that I want. Um, but that is the cocktail lounge. So if you have any questions at all um, about my project or any type of um, word of advice, any op uh, ideas you have you may want to throw my way, or if you just want to talk about um, something you liked or disliked about my project to help m me improve it, to make it something uh, definitely worth visiting later on um, down the road, uh, please find me on LinkedIn and we can definitely uh, connect and talk about my project. Uh, thank you.